Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Brad Wardle from Cougar Ridge Ranch, call sign Captain Wingnut. Today, Dr. Wardle. In this video, I'm going to give you a simple lecture on boron and its derivatives, mainly concentrating on boric acid. This is not a complete lecture on boron, just a real simple lecture so that you'll understand the main derivative, boric acid, and how we use it for insect control and how it's used a lot in human health. You'd be surprised. Coming up. Be right back. Boron is the fifth element on the periodic table. It's a metalloid, which is an intermediate element falling somewhere between the properties of metals and solid nonmetals or semiconductors. It is found on, in small amounts on meteors. Chemically uncombined boron, or pure boron, is not found on Earth. It is extremely hard to produce due to its behavioristic properties. Borox laundry brightener is a derivative of boron. And boric acid, also called hydrogen borate, boracic acid, orthoboric acid, or sasolite, is made from borax. So, any element with boro in its name is derived from the master element boron. Boric acid is lethal to most insects in almost any quantity, but it must be eaten by the insect. Speculation is that insects just walk through it can absorb it, and that absorption will kill them as well. But that's speculation. Grooming or colony insects are the most common and susceptible to boric acid poisoning, but most insects that eat it, even a tiny bit, will die. In just a moment, I'm going to tell you 23 different things that boric acid is used for, many in human health. Borax laundry booster and whitener is just as deadly to insects that are susceptible to boron poisoning but boric acid is better as an insecticide because it is a finer grain. A 1% solution of boric acid or borax kills slowly and can kill entire colonies of grooming insects, while a 5% solution is ample to quickly kill. Higher concentrations might repel insects from eating it due to its extremely bitter taste and smell. Boron poisoning in insects works by disrupting their digestion and nervous system, and the sharp crystals cut their exoskeletons as well. Current scientific tests show that boric acid will not kill ticks, bedbugs, lice, spiders, beetles, flies, fleas, or moths. Is it dangerous to humans? Again, folks, I'm going to let you use your own common sense here. I'll give you the data. An analysis from an independent testing firm, Chemical Regulatory Consulting, states, quote, Boric acid is only poisonous if taken internally or inhaled in large quantities, end quote. I'll put the link in the description. Rats were fed large quantities of boric acid compared to their body weight in a one-off 1994 study, PMC 1566645, and it didn't kill them, but the report noted that it did cause male reproductive issues. Female reproductive harm wasn't noticed above the norms. The study was also a study, solo study. It was never replicated, so its findings are suspicious either way. Boric acid has been used externally and internally by humans for centuries. There are some alarmists, however, and it's a short handful, who point to this one solo study as proof that boric acid is poisonous and have caused Europe to ban boric acid. I'm sorry for you guys in Europe. As I always say, use your own common sense. If you're 50, 152 pounds and you can eat one pound of boric acid, I think you might have a slight indigestion problem. But likewise, eating one pound of pepper will probably give you indigestion, if not kill you. Boric acid is getting a bad rap in the world today from alarmists, just like the DDT and red dye alarmists did in the 70s and 80s. If you want to read my paper on that, I've left a link in the description below. 
Boric acid in the concentrations that I talk about and use in other insect killing videos on my channel are minuscule compared to the amounts that they rumor to be deadly. Common sense says you're pretty safe. And not just common sense, let me tell you this. Boric acid, borax, boron, is currently used worldwide for the following. And this is just a partial list. It is not a complete list by any means. I've posted this entire list in the description. One, yeast infections, vaginitis, and other bacterial and fungus ailments of the skin and organs. Two, eye drops. Boric acid has been common as an antibacterial in eye drops for centuries. Just check the label. Three, ear drops. Boric acid is an effective antibiotic for the treatment of ear infections and pain relief. Are you ready for this one? Number four, cancer treatment. Articles published in prominent medical journals report the potential of boric acid in the treatment of certain cancers. Melanoma, breast and prostate cancer studies have shown that boric acid can cause cancer cell apoptosis and prevent tumor growth. Apoptosis is a process by which abnormal cells are killed by the body and cancer cells are typically immune to apoptosis. But recent studies are showing that boric acid opens certain cancers to apoptosis. Number five, antifungal meds. It kills candida fungus and it's used on fingernail and toenail fungus. It also kills more drug resistant forms of the candida glabrata fungus. Six, flea larva control in carpets. Just sprinkle a light dusting of boric acid on your carpet and it will kill flea larva. It won't kill adults, however, but it will kill any eggs that hatch. Seven, as a mold and fungus killer, mix a little boric acid and soap in water and use it as a cleaner. It'll kill mold, mildew, fungus, which cause illness and allergies. It's a great shower cleaner. Eight, it's an antiseptic. Boric acid mixed in distilled water is a very effective antiseptic. Nine, cold sores. Boric acid ointment can short, shorten a cold sore infection by up to one third of the time. 10, acne. Boric acid antibacterial properties make it very effective for acne breakouts. Some people use it pure, some use it in an ointment. 11, Fertilizer. It is a crucial nutrient for plant life. 12. Boron itself comes over the counter in 6 milligram caplets and is used as a dietary supplement for boron deficiency and bone health, including osteoporosis, brittle bone disease. I've put a link to WebMD and their article on taking boron as a dietary supplement in the description. 13. Menstrual cramps. 14. Athletic performance. 15. Laundry brightener. 16. Forging metal and metal soldering and welding of metal. 17. It's a flame retardant. 18. It's a neuron absorber used in nuclear power plants. 19. It's a catalyst in lead battery functions. 20. For treatment of chronic wounds. 21. It's used in the finishing of cotton fibers to make them beautiful. 22. It's a crucial element in cobalt electroplating. 23. Jewelry metalworking. And this list goes on. I'm only going to stop right here. You can't believe how many uses boron is used for in the world today. Just a side note about why boric acid, boron, borax is so effective in cockroach control. Cockroaches are colony uh, insects, and they feed themselves, they feed others, they clean themselves, they clean others, and everything that they get, they pass along to everybody else. They're also cannibals, meaning they'll eat their own dead. So, using boric acid to kill roaches is cyclic, like this. A roach dies from exposure to boric acid. Another roach eats it and is exposed to the same boric acid and dies as well. Another roach eats it and it will die as well. Since boric acid is kind of an alien element, it's found on meteors, it never degrades. And since it's always there, it's ready to kill any insect at any time. 
any new foragers that wander in and find dead roaches, eat the dead roaches, and go back and feed their own colony what they just ate. And they die. I won't talk much more about boron, boric acid, borax, and its uses here, as I have other videos that I do that in and teach you how to use boric acid to kill insects. Last thing about borax, if you use borax versus boric acid, just grind it into a fine powder before you use it. It's easier to deal with and dose, and the insects are less likely to be repelled by its size because it has a very bitter taste and smell. Okay, that's the end of this chapter. There will be a test on Friday. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the, I don't know where it's at on here, click the bell so that you're notified when I release more videos. I got a lot of videos in the pipeline that are gonna come out uh, very quickly. So uh, subscribe and, and uh, click the bell so that you find out when I'm releasing another video. And uh, just let me say that I really enjoy making these videos for you and, and helping people learn. That was my profession and uh, I just enjoy it so much. This is Dr. Wardle, Brad Wardle from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of Eastern Utah. Call sign Captain Wingnut, signing off. Remember, use your common sense.